like if you're trying to make a color before you heat it, it looks significantly different than after you heat it. So whenever I'm trying to match a color, I always do it after my plastic is hot. Okay, this here is what we're looking at now. It's like a pea soup. It does not look... That's darker than what it actually looks like. See, it looks like pea soup. We'll see what it looks like when we're done here. Okay, so I've got a half a cup of plastic. Throw that in my spoon rest. Okay, we're going to go for about, I don't know, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. I don't panic on the time, on the microwave. It's not super powerful. So it doesn't turn my plastic from one state to the next in three seconds. I got room time to work with it. Just gonna go with a pinch. I add my glitter after I melt my plastic. Uh, I've had trouble with some glitters clumping when you melt them, when you heat up the plastic. Okay, so right now we've been about 50 seconds. I guess about 40 seconds. Okay, this is still in the same liquid um, state that it was as soon as I poured it out of the jug. There's been no change. I'm going to continue on for another 30 seconds or so. That's the, the other really nice thing about the microwave versus the, the heat, the hot plate the microwave is so much easier to work with. I mean, you take it out, you stir it, you put it back in. The pot plate, you've got to stir constantly the whole time or you, it'll scorch because of those little tin containers. I tried heating it up in glass that was temperature safe on the hot plate. It didn't work any better. Okay. Okay, now we definitely have a di difference. Now you can see how much thicker that plastic is and it's not it's turning into its second stage and now is when I'm starting to get a little smell from my plastic so now we're gonna go for a little bit longer now the total time on this microwave was a minute and 55 seconds. That was a pre-selected um, heating arrangement for beverage. I just hit beverage because I know it's about two minutes. And now I can really smell the plastic. Uh, I have a ceiling fan going in the room. I have a little fan on top of my microwave here. I'll have to show you that in a second. Also, these are worth every penny. Definitely want to get uh, the glove. Completely forgot about that. Okay, we're still still converting, and you can see this the uh, steam smoke coming off. That smells bad. So now I'm going to put my mask on and hope that you can hear me. That really that mask makes a huge difference. See how. Uh, thick and nasty that plastic is, it's still converting stages. It's not done yet. So we're going to continue on. And I just selected beverage again. So, so far I'm at two minutes. And I suspect 30 to 45 more seconds and this will probably be pretty close to ready. The glass gets really hot, which is a benefit because it helps hold the heat in the plastic, which gives you more time to work when you're pouring. When you're trying to pour fine lines and curly tails and whatnot and your plastic cools off, it just makes a blobby mess. But the handle on that 
uh, cup is rather toasty already. I have two gloves, but the other one's trapped. Normally I don't need to. I just need to hold on to the cup with the, the wine. Now see, now we're back into a very liquid, almost a water light condition. That plastic is ready to pour. Except we don't have any glitter. See how much darker it is now than when I put the colors in before? If you were trying to match a color, you would not get the color you wanted by adding your colors early because it, it looks so much different now. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, I'm going to add me a little dye, a little dye, a little glitter, just a, bit, a pinch. We're going to mix that in real good. 